have a Word doc that you've been emailed or have on a thumb drive that isn't compatible with your version of Word, so you need to be able to open it. Um, if you log into your Windows Live account, whether it's Hotmail or MSN, uh, options at the top, you'll go to Office, Your Documents. Then, unless you want it to be a public document, uh, you can go to your, under your personal, go My Documents. And then we're going to add file um, up above where it says earlier this year or whatever it happens to say for you showing your documents. They'll be new and then add files. Unless I want to create a new file from scratch, I'm going to choose add file to bring up this nice little drop option. So I'm going to go ahead and open the location that the document is in. I'll select it, click and hold, and then I'm going to drag. I'm going to click back over to the window. And it's a small file, so it'll get done quickly if you have a high speed connection. So now I have the one I just uploaded, which is a 2010 Word version. So if I tried to open this on one of my other systems with 2003, it wouldn't work unless I saved it as a backward compatible file. Um, Usually the case is someone else has sent you a file and you, it takes more time to try to get them to learn how to save it. Um, unless you tell them about this website and they learn to do so. So we don't want to open a word because that's our problem. We want to edit in browser. So once this pulls up, Here you'll notice it looks, you know, very similar to, you know, other, other Word documents that you might create. Um, so if you choose the file option, which is the blue right under the diskette, you can print, um, and that's one of the most important things because if you try to open it in Word and it's not compatible, it's still not compatible. Um, you can save as. Um, but the main thing is if you're wanting to print or edit the document, this allows you to open the document, make any changes you need to, and print it without having to go through the long process of having that file converted into a more readable format. Um, so hopefully this, if anything's been unclear, please contact us. We want tutorials to be as helpful as possible, whether we need to do an additional tutorial or regenerate any tutorial, please contact us. Uh, Hopefully this has helped. Thanks. Bye-bye.